Hey everyone, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a link to one of your own pages using the Weebly Website Builder. Earlier, I created a new page on my dad's website called Demonstration. Any new page that you create is going to appear at the bottom of all of your pages. So I'm scrolling through my dad's pages right now to the very bottom to find that. Before you create a link to a new page, you want to make sure that the new page is published. So I was searching for the page. This is it. I'm now looking at it. I'm adding some text and I'm going to publish it once more just to make certain that it's published. I should mention this footage is going to be a little wobbly because I'm holding my iPhone in one hand while trying to capture the screen and type with my other hand. So it's not the greatest footage. So I just added a little bit of new text to this page and then I'm going up into the right hand corner where it says publish in blue, clicking on that and the page is publishing again. I'm doing this in a hurry and so I actually misspelled what I added to the page too. Once the page is published, I'm going to go out and add this to one of my dad's top menu items. Notice that I'm clicking that little left pointing arrow from the page that I was on to get back to all of the pages. And now I'm searching for the section that I'm going to be adding it to. Ultimately, I'm going to be adding it to the section called Experiences. I know you can't see half of this because it's off of the screen. But trust me, I found Experiences. So now that I'm on the Experiences page, I'm just going to scroll down to the very bottom and add this as a new menu item on the Experiences menu. So I select the word, I click on link, I go down to here and I say standard page, brings up the search box, I type in the title of my page. Wait until it populates in the menu below. I pick this one. I'm going to check off the box that it opens in a new window. And I select it. And it's all done. So now I just click somewhere outside of the box. And hmm, got goofed up that time. Okay, let's remove this. And try it again. That was happening to me before, so I did something different that time. It's probably good that happened. So we'll try it again. Select it, go up, click somewhere outside of the box, and hmm, got goofed up that time. Okay, let's remove this and try it again. That was happening to me before, so I did something different that time. It's probably good that happened. So we'll try it again. Select it, go up and click on link. Time, I'm going to do what I did last time, which is I went to Website Earl, and then I realized that was the wrong way, so I clicked down here. That was what I did. Instead of doing Product Page, it's a Website Earl. And then I pick Standard Page, and then I type Demonstration. Try 
trying to do this with one hand. That's enough. I select it. And I should just click somewhere outside. And that time it's correct. So I did things in a little bit different order and it worked. So then I go and I publish again. So you publish once to publish the page and a second time to publish the table of contents. And now we're done. Did you like my finger in that last shot? Anyway, I wanted to reiterate the order because it's really important. You do not pick standard page first. You pick website URL first and standard page second. So here I'm going back over it again so you can see. After you click on website URL, what you need to do is click on the little downward pointing carrot in order to get standard page to show up. Then when you click on standard page is when the search box will appear that you need to type in the title of the page that you're searching for. You usually don't even need to type in the entire title. If you just start typing it in, it's going to start searching through the database and it will pull up suggestions for you. So in this case, the draft it found right away. Notice that it says unlink by the draft. That's because I inadvertently selected one that already had a link to it. The last thing that's really important to remember is after you add this new link to your menu, you need to publish again. I did this quite a few times before I actually shot it for production purposes, and I decided to leave this last section in even though I make some mistakes. I'll click on link. Pick website URL. I pick standard page. Then I type in the chipmunk and a little blue jay. Then I just move my cursor outside of the box, click somewhere, and it's fixed. Oh shoot though, I got the four in this time. I didn't really want that, or did I? Yeah, I did shoot. Let's try it again. Okay, this time when I click down it, see how it brought that up where it shows the link? I'm gonna click remove and I'm gonna start over again. I'm gonna just select this. Then I pick link, pick website URL. Then I click on the little carrot to open the rest of the menu, and it's a standard page. And then I get my search box, and it is the chipmunk. So I select that, I click outside of the box, and it did it again. Well, I don't know if that's any better, but I wonder if I could do this. No, it's still going to do it. Oh well. Okay, I'm going to publish it. The other time I was able to fix that, but I'm, I'm oh look, there's another one that has that. Um, trying to do things with one hand while I hold the camera and videotape myself is not that easy. I'm going to try and put the video camera down and do it with both hands.